I am going to show you with this video how to take your large single flag audio file like you see one on my screen you see the size of nearly 540 megabytes one file contains all the tracks so someone had ripped the CD into this lossless audio format but it isn't very useful for me my iPhone does not recognize and is unable to play the flag file what it does play easily is the ubiquitous mp3 file so in order for me to split and convert this flag audio file and make it into an mp3 individual track files i am going to be using a program that i will show you in just a minute before I do that though, I'm going to take a step back and let you know that w when you had downloaded a FLAC file or you were given a FLAC file from your Mac, if you were to click on it, most likely your Mac will open it up with one of the audio media players such as a VLC. In my case, what I had done, because I am converting a number of these FLAC audio files, and to streamline the process, I had gone ahead and in the default apps, I had selected this particular extension, FLAC, to be associated with and open with the program that we're going to use to convert and save individual MP3 files namely the program called media human audio converter their website mediahuman.com it's a free program that works quite well i had spent the entire day working with it and i am quite pleased with its performance so as i said since i have the flac extension sort of mapped to this app I double click on it it reads the queue file and automatically presents me with all the tracks contained within this large flag file from there you would simply start the conversion and that is all there is to it to spend another minute within the media human audio converter I just wanted to let you know that it has a number of output formats that it can convert your FLAC file. And obviously MP3 is quite ubiquitous. It works on a lot of devices. In my particular case, I use the highest bitrate available for the MP3. And I'm not worried about the fact that I am taking a lossless audio file and creating lossy tracks. The reason is I am not getting rid of the FLAC file. I am keeping it. This is my master recording. At the same time, I will have the MP3s to go around and select tracks individually. Maybe there are some tracks on that CD that I don't necessarily want in my playlist. With FLAC, I don't know how to make it work on my iPhone. But with MP3s, I do. One other setting that I want to point your attention to is the output folder. I simply keep the newly generated MP3 uh, track files uh, in the source folder um, most easy to navigate and everything is just sitting there in one place so again simply by clicking start conversion process the uh, process begins splitting off individual track files and creating mp3s out of them it's quite robust, it's quite um, consistent. I have not had this program uh, crashed or caused any kind of a problem. It has just been working solidly. I've been using this program today all day since I have a number of FLAC files that I had accumulated over the years. Um, 
and this is a good way to manage those FLAC audio files and get the MP3s that I am able to easily use. So that is the process. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you would like to know how to get this default apps into your system preferences, let me know in the comments and I will make another video and explain to you how you can get that icon because it does not come default from within your Mac operating system. It is another um, app. And, uh, and the reason I had to do that was because as I was working with the flag file, I got quite tired of having to right click on the file, go to open with, first it wouldn't even show up on the drop down menu. So I would have to go to other, I would have to navigate within the applications, I would have to select the app and even with the check mark at always open with, it simply does not work. I put the check mark, I click open, the file opens up fine initially, but subsequently it reverts back to the VLC or whatever media player. Uh, in my case, it's VLC. The flag file just continues open up with uh, VLC instead of the uh, human media audio converter. Uh, in my case, I'm not playing. I don't intend to play the FLAC file at the moment. I need to get it split up into individual tracks and convert it to an MP3. So instead of having to right click and open with and all that thing, it was quite useful to simply get this app installed and then map the FLAC extension to the human media audio converter. There is one more thing that I need to let you know. Sometimes when you open up the FLAC file with media human audio, instead of giving you the tracks, the app is only giving you the single individual 38 minute in this case long audio file it's not reading the cue card for some reason the workaround is to right click choose cue file point your mac to the cue file and once you hit open presents you with this confirmation Once you press yes, it successfully breaks up the audio tracks and you will be able to go ahead and convert those as I had done earlier. I just wanted to put that out there in case someone ran into this issue, you would not panic.